All right, so I'm gonna turn on these layers right here. When you're working with Photoshop, it's important to understand that when you move an object or whenever you do anything to the actual document, you can take a step back or undo what you had previously done using edit and undo. That also includes things like making a mark, you know, and using, like say the brush tool. If you accidentally did do something like that and you didn't intend to do, just go edit and undo brush. You rearrange an item accidentally or do something. You see I rearranged the stacking order and then I can just take a step back. You see it says undo layer order. You do multiple steps or you take multiple steps like, okay, so I rearranged the stacking order. I select the purple balloon layer and move it. I take the brush tool and then make a mark. And then let's say I go in and delete the green layer. So those are multiple steps that I've taken. So if you do more than one step that you wish to undo, use the step backward option. See Alt, Control, Z, or just simply select that. So it took a step back, and then I take another step back, and another step back, until we've run out of, we've run out of steps. So we've gone as far back as Photoshop has kept track of, as far as all of our recent moves go. So anytime you do multiple steps, if you want to take a step back, you can use a single step back, which will take care of the most current step, or use this feature here, which will allow you to go backwards as well as forwards. So you can undo and redo the states as long as it is within the 20 step range. Photoshop takes or keeps track of the last 20 steps taken. So don't don't rely too much on that, but you know, just know that you can take 20 steps back. Anything beyond that, the more steps you take, the most recent one or the earliest step you had taken will be deleted. There's another option that you can use for taking steps back, which is the history panel, which is what we'll talk about next.